why am I on the screen? There you go, that's better. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Random Encounter. We're going to go live in about five minutes' time. Uh, just reading a couple of what you guys are saying in the chat there. If you have any questions for the pre-show, send them over. Uh, a couple of you guys wondering what the story is with like all our all our uh, live streaming stuff. Uh, I actually got a really nice message off a dude on GameSpot who was like talking about how um, a lot of you guys were kind of maybe worried or a bit frustrated by us not talking about what's going on. Um, it's just been really busy and we've, we've obviously not talked about what what's happening with a lot of our shows. Uh, so basically the reason, so Random Encounters now going into Tuesday and Thursdays instead of every day of the week. And there's two reasons for that. The first one is it takes a lot of my time. like. The, the biggest reason we didn't have Escape from Man Stupid up all the time for the past couple of months is because I've just been basically doing, you know, like two hour live stream every day and then an edit in the, the day after. It, it's pretty time consuming. So uh, for one, that that's that was important. So I could concentrate on my new show at the point and try and get more of those escape type videos out. Obviously Escape, for those of you who don't know, is, is done. We're done with Escape from Man Stupid, but um, those videos will still be made, we just won't call them Escape anymore. It'll just be like, History of Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. So we've got a couple of those coming up as well. And the second reason is we, we've basically done a big massive cut and run with all of our... Um, uh, like, all of our live streaming stuff, so... Oh, actually, that's not even true, with all of our video stuff, so... Everything from our video on demand stuff to live streaming to what we put up on YouTube and Twitch and all that. We've basically just changed it all up, so... Uh, we have cut a lot of our shows. Uh, and we are redeveloping other ones, and it's just kind of like a big internal, like, sort of a uh, cleansing ritual or something, so that without having any golden cows, we can kind of look at everything we make, see what works, see what people like, and then try and like position it better. So it's kind of boring and like producery and stuff, but um, obviously you guys are like totally connected to all this. You understand how it all works, and you're interested. So uh, we've no problem talking about it. It's not like we, we're not talking about it. It's just that I guess. Just never had the the need to do so or the the ability. This is the first time I've been live streaming in a couple of weeks, so yeah. So that's that's what's going on. Sorry, I need to hit record on this button. There you go. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do this on Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, my new weekly show, The Point, will be out every Wednesday. That's gonna go live first week in August. Um, I'm away next week. Um, uh, yeah, personal matters. I've had a bit of bad news during the week, and I have to go home next week. Um, but I'll be back. After that, so uh, oh, let's start the music again. Um, and thanks to all of you as well who have been very nice and kind and supportive and whatnot uh, over Twitter and stuff. I won't get into it now, but yeah, whatever. Life is life. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll be back as a couple of more shows. Cam's new show is starting on Sunday, which is like a compressed version of the What If Machine that'll be up every week, all about the science and games. Um, and that will be. Uh, going up on Sunday, and it's called Reality Check. So there's loads of stuff coming out. We had the new GameSpot news went up on GameSpot last week. Jess and the guys in uh, in, this, in Australia are heading that up. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just loads of random bits and bobs coming out. So, uh, are you guys getting like black screens and stuff on the stream, or is it just me? Looks like it's acting up. I don't know. Drop the quality. All right, we're gonna go live in about three minutes. With Omicron, the Nomad Soul. No, you guys are getting everything alright? Okay, cool. Uh, thank you. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know. Uh, Omicron, the Nomad Soul is actually a really, really good game. I Well, I loved it when I first played it. Um, it's David Cage's first game before he fell in love with QuickTime events. It's absolutely mental, but it's uh, it's less less mental than, than, uh, than the previous games he made, I think. I feel like this is more of a game than the other one, so. Good fun. It's really trippy. Also, David Bowie's in it. So stick around. We're going to play this for maybe two hours. We'll see. See how it goes. All right, back in a sec.
Hello, everybody. Hello, internet friends. Let me just... I love getting used to this whole thing all over again. It's great. I love our little TriCaster stuff. Everyone look okay? Got some thief music playing in the background. Got my notes here. Yeah, we're good to go. Hope this game works. Hello and welcome to Random Encounter, the live stream show where we play a different random game every Tuesday and Thursday from now on. Today we're playing Omicron The Nomad Soul, which is a really... I loved this game when it first came out. Maybe it's not as good as I remember, but I'm really happy to play it again today. Uh, this is a game made by Quantic Dream, so David Cage's crowd who did Fahrenheit and um, Heavy Rain and who are releasing Beyond um, soon enough, I guess. Uh, this is the first game they made, and it's it's very different to those games in that it's not so quick-time heavy, um, and it's more of a game. Those games of, of all are all incredibly linear experiences, whereas Omicron, when it came out in 99, this came out in the PC, and it, I think a year later it came out in the Dreamcast, and... Um, is actually quite a, an open world. Um, you get transported into the game, you yourself, sitting in front of the computer, get transported in by this dude. You basically become his, go into his body, um, and you have to like solve a murder and stuff. But there's all this weird like tertiary stuff you can do um, in the world as well. I like, can just go to bars and talk to people. Uh, and also David Bowie's in it. You can see like David Bowie's band. And I never completed it, but I've been told that the David Bowie part is actually really integral to the to the story as well. So I've not played this game in, oh, I don't know, since like 2000 maybe. So like in a long time, like 13 years or so. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to playing this. Also, I've just realized I'm wearing my green shirt. So the green screen is on. Professional as ever. All right. All right, Mr. Bowie. See what you got up your sleeve. Bam. Yeah, whatever. Windows. IDOS Interactive. Boom. This is Quantic Dream. Look how high resolution that is. Here comes the dream. Oh, whatever, I don't care. All right. New game. Enter name. Denny. Here we go. I have many things to tell you, and very little time. My, my name is Kale. I come from a universe parallel to yours. My world needs your help. You're the only one who can save us. I succeeded in opening the breach between my world and yours. Through your computer, you can enter our world and help us. But in order to do this, you must transfer your soul into my body. Oh my god. You accept. Press any key to say yes. Press any but key. Hurry. There isn't much time. Press any any key to say yes. I wonder if I hit escape, will it say yes? No. Alright, so not any key then, you jerk. I accept. I knew I could count on you. Now you must concentrate. Concentrating. Uh, concentrating. Uh, so much. Uh, uh. You've done it. Oh. Now your soul occupies my body. This is weird. This is the last time that we'll be able to speak together. Does this mean I'm gay? Once you cross the breach, you'll be on your own. I will take over my body when you leave the game and hold your place for you. Wow, it's like an MMO. What's going on? Is he broken? You alright? You alright, mate? Y you okay? Oh, okay, I, I understand. That's it. You're ready. But remember, once you cross the breach, you're on your own. Alright. There's no saving and going back if you get into trouble. You are entering a real world. If you make mistakes, you'll just have to accept the consequences. Now, listen carefully. Begin your investigation. Go first to my apartment. There's no more time to talk. Okay. You must cross the breach before it closes. Oh, and one more thing. Be careful with my body. It's the only one I've got. Here we go. Woo! Yeah, so uh, no, no alternate save states or anything. This game is very much once you've done something, that's it. So here we go. I have no idea how this controls. I haven't even bothered demoing this earlier. Yeah, let's pop me back in there. 
Uh oh, what the hell is that thing? Oh man, he just gave me a right uppercut. Uh oh. Oh man, he's sucking the snot out of my brain! Ed 209's turned off, it's okay. You have to be the victim of a violent attack. <laughs> Go home, eat, and rehydrate yourself. If you experience mental disturbances, consult a psychiatrist. The Omicron police thank you for your cooperation. I hope you guys can can read that on the stream. I'm not sure what the, the res is like. Uh, yeah, there you go. Transported into this guy's body. Got beaten up. And there, here we go. Omicron. And if this doesn't remind you of what ga playing games in the 90s was like, I don't know what will. Omicron. All right, face me. You got to do the whole face, face the, face the camera thing. Come on. Face the camera. I want to see your face. Turn around. So this is the wonderful world of uh, Omicron. This is the name of the city we're in. It's obviously a... Uh, he says, okay, where am I? This passage... Oh, by pressing action, I will pick up an object. Once it's in my hand, I can press action again to keep it. Or cancel to put it down. All right, grand. So uh, what's the thing I'm going to pick up? I've got a computer terminal a computer terminal grafted to my arm. i got three magic rings, guys. <laughs> Video games. All right. Can deal with that. Alright, so how do I get to my magic arm thing again? God, I really haven't done... Okay, tab. So here's my magic arm. Here's my pit boy, as it were. Um, I got a call. This side I can call people. This is me. I'm male. I'm 30 years old. My eyes are green. My interests are void. Alright. Um, inventory. Got the key. What's this? MK400 notice. Examine. Congratulations, you've just got... Okay, it's just a manual for this thing I've got in my hand. No problem. Uh, cancel. Uh, oh, what else I got here? Anikba, Carl's apartment. Oh, yeah. So the slider thing I'll show you in a second. Um, it's all coming back to me now. The slider is a, a like a piece of um, a transit within Omicron. It's like a... It's kind of like the little bubble cars in Syndicate is what it reminded me of. Check it out. It's a living, breathing world. The other thing this used to remind me of a lot was G Police. It's like it's it's like it's like G Police if you're uh oh if you're weren't playing a, a massive flying thing. Okay, of course. Sorry, I forgot this is a David Cage game. So here's your musical intro. Totally David Bowie singing, by the way. No matter. all. I don't know if I can skip this, I kind of don't want to, because I really like David Bowie. So this is David Bowie literally singing about Omicron. No, I don't think I can skip this. No, I can't, I can't skip this. We're in for the long haul, folks. So what I do remember about this is that the first thing you do is you basically go to your your apartment and pretty sure your girlfriend's there and then some stuff happens but just like in um heavy rain and uh, fahrenheit i guess as well like you are making lots of decisions in conversation that will impact what happens to you or your ability to do stuff uh, later in the game which for 1999 was you know it wasn't unheard of the elder schools games were doing it and Lots of RPGs were doing it, but this was more of a... So there's shooting elements in this, and then there's also, like, weird fighting game bits where you're, like... You're, like, Street Fighter-style, both standing there, kicking the crap out of each other. 
Uh, Macron. We know Mr. Bowie. 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 I don't know. Bowie? I think it's Bowie. Directed by David Cage. Zooms into the fire, and I believe it flashes white. And if it does, my memory as a gamer is way too good. There you go. That's ridiculous. I haven't played this game in ten years. Couldn't tell you anything I learned in school, though. This city seems to be immense. How am I supposed to find Cod's apartment? A vehicle might be useful. The sneak terminal on my forearm has a cold slider button. <laughs> Maybe I should try that. Maybe you should. Uh, so I believe the slider is those little cars flying around. So we open up his thingy. He's MK400, go to slider and hit Carl's apartment. This little dude turns up. It's, it's basically a fast travel mechanism, but it's kind of cool. Hop in. Into your Google car. And there we go. It's very, um, 80s future. If you're like, excuse me, I'm in a hurry. I just bumped into that guy. Oh, God. So that was the other thing as well, there's, there's weird fixed camera angle things that happen sometimes. What? Was that the fastest elevator of all time, or have I just... No, I'm, I'm still here. Turn around. Where's the elevator button? The elevator control panel is on my right. Okay, I guess I've got his key here. Use on... Oh no, just use, just use. Use. Hooray! Up to his apartment. Yeah, it looks very Blade Runner-ish. Good call, Leon. Alright, this is his sick apartment. Very open plan. It's got lots of weird chemical flames going on. Some numbers coming out of this. It's a binary. It's a binary fire. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. hell. I thought I saw someone in front of me. She looked real. I feel as if I know her. By pressing the head button, I can look all around. Where's the head button? Control? No, that's the... That's the Lara Croft button. Alt. I don't know what the head button is. Do I care what the head button is? Oh, I can just click on the mouse and do that. Well, that's kind of redundant, so let's not worry about that. What's in here? It's my sick kitchen. Hey, what the... Three rings. Three interlaced rings floating in the air. This is literally the only thing you've seen since you got here. We already picked three rings up. Oh, they were on the ground though, weren't they? Uh, so, I believe that this is the save point. Let me just... Yay! Save. What's advice about? No advice available. Great. Always good to know. Here's, uh, here's something. What's that? Shimmy. <laughs> is that something? Yeah. Omicron News. Yeah, so the, the pretty good level of fiction in this game. Just kind of information that you can soak up that's kind of nothing to do. You know, it's it's not required. So here we can look at the, the future news. Today, 1X announced that he may very soon order a reduction of 10 minutes in legal sleeping time. According to his calculations, this would boost productivity in certain sectors by 1.2% and increase the average happiness rate by 0.8%. So it's giving you kind of an, uh, giving you a little bit of insight into the type of world we're talking about here in Omicron. A shitty world. Uh-oh. Whoa! Don't shoot me! Yeah, rubbing with your eyes open. Who blinked? Nobody blinks in this world. Oh, Gail. I thought I'd never see you again. Where have you been? I haven't heard from you in days. Oh, you're Carl's girlfriend, aren't you? Okay, so. Do we say... I don't know, I can't remember. I'm not Ka Kylan. Kaylin. I'm occupying his body, but I've come from another dimension. Or I can't tell you anything. You wouldn't believe me. Yeah, I can't remember. You... You mean to say you've... Lost your memory? That is what I meant to say. Yes, you must help me to understand what happened. Tell me about the circumstances of my disappearance. Four days ago, you didn't come home from work. I called your office in security headquarters. They said that you and your partner, Dan, had gone out on an investigation and that they hadn't heard from you. Dan. That was all they could tell me. 
I don't listen to Dan. I work in security headquarters. Am I a police officer? I feel like I know the answer to that question, and she'll suss me out. What happened next? They couldn't find you anywhere. You disappeared without a trace. I, I was sick with worry. Oh. I ended up thinking that, that you'd been arrested by the militia. And that they killed you. Oh, well, it didn't happen, because I'm right here. I was working on an investigation, so I don't... Why would you ask that question? Just ask, wow, what precinct do I work at? Or I don't know. Did you notice anything strange about my behavior just before I disappeared? In the days before you disappeared, you seemed preoccupied, mm. worried. Mm. Several times I asked you what the matter was, but you said you couldn't tell me. You also said that in spite of what might happen, good would win out over evil. That's kind of a weird thing to say to your girlfriend, but okay. Tell me about Dan. I hardly know anything about Dan. Oh, you're useless. All I know is that he's your partner and your, and your best friend. Just before you disappeared, you were spending a lot of time together in the evenings. You don't know anything about my partner and my best friend. Are you really my girlfriend? Do you know what I was investigating before I disappeared? I don't know anything about your investigation. Oh, you are literally you the most useless before. person in the world. Why don't you go to your office and security headquarters? They're probably still looking for you. See, she told me the information without me looking like a douchebag. You're right. I'll go to my office and security headquarters. Oh, Kale. I'm so glad to have you back. Yeah, yeah. Where are you going? Where are you going? You get fries with that shake? All right, well, I guess I'm following her into the bedroom then. And here we go. Hmm, I like this open plan bedroom with the bed in the middle. That's not weird at all. You just sit there. Nothing in particular. I can't just jump on top of Talise like that. I'm not an animal. I could lie down on my own on the other side of the bed like a good boy. Okay. I'm gonna lie down then. Ah. Hey, look, guys. It's a friggin' Quantic Dream game. Of course it has a sex scene. That's three for three so far, David Cage. Is that it? Where's my quick, where's my quick time event? Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, this is the worst orgasm ever. Hmm. All without taking your clothes off. Nice work. A nightmare. It was just a nightmare. I shouldn't be wasting my time here. The sex was just a nightmare. Oh, God. I never want to see a woman naked ever again. I gotta take a piss into this elephant trunk and just forget about the whole thing. Oh. Oh, kill me now. Alright. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna have a shower. A chemical shower. I can think of better things to do than wash myself. I don't know, man. You just said the sex was a nightmare. Maybe you should... Oh, sick. I was wondering where I left my green pyramid. Medicate, large. Oh, you just stick it up your ass, isn't it? Nice. Chocolate bar? Oh, it's this police badge. Uh, what else? That is? I don't understand. Okay. This guy's a bit dim, but... So I don't really understand why he's responding to me with things like, I don't understand if I'm supposed to be in his body, and he's supposed to not be here. There's holes in your logic, David Cage. Jesus, look at this guard. Pretty impressive guard. What was that? What was that noise? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back here. Come back here. What are you? Alright. Alright. What do I do here? Hello, Agent Kale. Hey. Choose your difficulty level. What? Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Easy, please. Thank you. Get ready. All right. The fight is about to start. Great. So this is my very own personal holodeck thing where I can just beat the crap out of this dude. So there's like a load of different kind of mini game type things in this. It's part of the overall experience and one of them is this fighting thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kick him in the face. D is punch. S is kick. And there's like combinations and stuff you can do. And this sick camera angle. Uh. 
Uh, so most of the combat in the game is done via this. Oh, Jesus. Except I can't seem to figure out how to get him to turn on his axes, so... Which is how you dodge, so... Yeah, stop. Stop in the face. Stop in the face. Kick in the face. Uh, uh, uh. Stop in the face some more. Yeah, take that, holographic man. Yeah! Sick replays. Alright, that's enough of that. Wait, is my energy actually legitimately hurt? I just got beaten up by a hologram. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, it's time to go to the police station. Let's go to the police station. What's that? Is that a gun? Oh yeah, she left her gun on the ground. Her wafer gun. Wafer gun. Wafer gun. Can I open that? There's a pile of white triangular objects in the drawer written on the Miss Central Bank of Armacron 100 Cedex. Must be money. It must be money. 500 Cedex is probably enough for 500... Oh, what's up? What's up? You just got back and you're already leaving? What, you want to have sex again? We just had sex like... 60 seconds ago. Sorry, tell us. No, I'm up for having sex again, but I don't have the option. Uh. Kale, I love you. I love you. Too. You're cool. You're cool. Do I have to go? Do I have to go? Can I escape? 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 Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, she's sitting there now. What's up? How you doing? Up. No? Alright. Boys gotta try. Woo! Down the weird elevator. Alright, police station. I'm gonna take my awesome future cab. I don't know the address of security headquarters. Perhaps if I had a look at the police badge in my inventory. Good Jesus Christ. Just, why am I even here? I'm just going to tell me everything. A police badge in the name of Kale669. On the back it says, Property of Security HQ. 78090 Legati Boulevard. And then some weird shit. Nobody knows what it says. Great. Okay, does that mean I can use my magic police car to just go there? Sure it does. Take me to work, magic car. Magic carp. Yeah, for those of you just joining, this is uh, Omicron, the Nomad Soul. It came out in 1999. PC, a year later, or a couple of months later, on Dreamcast. Uh, it's made by Quantic Dream, who, of course, are the crowd who have made uh, many a interesting, uh, unique games, such as uh, Fahrenheit, uh, also known as Indico. What was it? Fahrenheit 16 or Fahrenheit 93? Oh, I forgot what it was. No, that was the movie. Jesus. No, it's just called Fahrenheit, was it? Yeah. Um, which was known as Indigo Prophecy in America because obviously the association between that and the Twin Towers when I, when that came out in like 2002 because that Fahrenheit movie had come out, Fahrenheit 9-11 or whatever, so they called it something else. Um, it was also set in New York, so it was it was pretty close to the bone, I guess. Understandable. Uh, they also then released Heavy Rain, of course, and they're working on Beyond Two Souls. All right, I better use my thingy, thingy magog. Beep. Hey, Ed209. How you doing? Alright. Do I get this, like, panoramic thing every single time we walk into a new area? Because that's going to get old. Mm. Yeah, I get it. It's got multiple levels, and my office is in one of them. Yep. Yeah. They're all the same. Okay. Jesus. Present hall pass. Second request. Present hall pass. Alright. Wait, where's the elevator? There it is. Sorry, it's free. What? What? Nothing in particular. I've just realized how, like, Bioforge this is. Do I have a flute? Any flute in there? No. I don't understand. I don't understand either, mate. Uh, this one, then? I don't know what to do with this. Oh, here we go. Uh, archive room, Kyle's office. Level minus two. Do, 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 do. 
No, that's not a door, Danny. Uh, okay. I really wish it said what office was what, so I could just go in. Is this my office? Do I have to use my pass on every single thing? Use. Nope. Hey, maybe you know where my office is. You might at least excuse yourself, God. This office is open. Is this my office? Nope, there's someone in it. Hello. Well, well. A ghost. Everybody thought you were dead, Kale. Wow. Me more than anyone. Because I killed you. Tell you the truth. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, you definitely killed me. Game over. We figured it out. There's no need to see David Bowie. Do you know the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of Dan and myself? What do you expect me to know? You seem to be having memory problems. Are you sure your intellectual faculties allow you to continue your work? I don't know. Does that stupid thing on your eye stop you from working? Douchebag. What do you know about the investigation Dan and I were working on? An investigation, you say? <laughs> the caddies are prostitutes, maybe. What? Is that what my girlfriend is? Very funny. I like your sense of humor. I could be wrong, but I get the impression you don't like me very much. You and Den are just second-rate cops on the take and unworthy to wear the uniform. Wow. If I were in Commandant Gandalf's place, I'd have thrown you off the force years ago. Commandant Gandalf? This place is weird. You shouldn't be aggressive like that. It's bad for the blood pressure. I hate having op- I hate not having options when all the only option I have to say is some stupid douchey thing I wouldn't say. I could, it's supposed to be me and his body. Come on now. Get out of my office. Yeah, you, you bore me too. Your stupid eye thing. I'm gonna use your coffee machine because you're a jerk. Yeah, that's right. I have no reason to use this here. What? Just, I'm gonna stand behind you. And shuffle so you feel awkward. I'm over here now. I'm over here now. Look, he still thinks I'm over there. Oh no, he spotted me. I'm over here now. No, no. I'm over here now, see? Look, I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. Hey. What's up? What's up? Alright, screw this. See if I can rob anything that he owes, owns. No. I wouldn't be very wise. It would be very wise, would it? Like having sex with your girlfriend with your clothes on. Didn't stop you then. Okay, is this my office? I don't understand. Uh, tab. Police. Oh, I've been using my badge, have I? Where's my... Yeah, it is my badge I'm supposed to use. Sorry, my head's all over the place. It doesn't work. Okay. Hello, do you know where I'm supposed to go? No response. I suppose we don't know each other. People aren't very nice in this city. Except for my girlfriend. She's awesome. Yay, here's my office. Oh, I got light swirls. So, how many of those things do I have left? I think it costs me every time I use uh, I use one of these rings. Yeah, so I've only got two rings left. So, in the interest of I'm the game crashing during this, I'm going to save anyway. But probably shouldn't, I'm guessing. I'm going to use my computer. Crime, date, armed robbery. 15th of Nevad, 21st of Fazwat, unexplained series of murders. I want to look at that one. Five. The body of a certain Maya 121 was found in an alleyway off of blah, 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 blah. This new victim is the 15th in less than two weeks. All the bodies were horribly mutilated and the victims had disappeared four days before their body was found. That sounds like what happened to me. Now I want to know about the pickpocketing. The culprit was caught in the act while prowling through the district of blah, 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 blah. Agent Dens 515, 5415 and Kyle 669 questioned Carry 962 and proceeded to arrest him. The prisoner was sentenced to be recycled. Wow. Mm. Alright. This place is kind of fucked up. Um, Alright. So at least I know about the murders. So I need to talk to Dan about it. Log off. Alright, where's Dan? I want to find Dan. Is Dan dead? Can I use this thing? Is this my coffee machine? Mm. Multiplan. What? Sleeping pill prescription. Oh, it's like my... 
Ma 500 rings. It's like my inventory. Multi-plan notice. I want to look at the multi-plan notice. No. Identify. Examine this object. Delete this object. Jesus, never. You just delete objects. It's this weird world he lives in is very strange. Uh, yeah, okay. I think I have the gist. Where's Dan? Let's look in the elevator and see. Oh, wait. Someone's ringing me. Agent Investigator Kale 669. Hey. Report to Captain Leah's office immediately. The captain is expecting you. Uh. Okay. Oh. My, my pit boy crashed. Let's crash. Oh, no, we're back. Okay, I gotta find. What was it? Captain Lee. Captain Lee Lemon. So, hit the button. Where's Lee? Mar, Sork, Yoklam, Packar. Captain Lee's office. Minus four. Ugh. What's going on, guys? How you doing? What's up? Why won't anyone talk to me here? Why won't any of you... Uh, uh, I can't see the fucking door. That is the door, right? Captain Lee is waiting for me. Minus four. That's not a door. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, of course, there's a guard outside of it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Dramatic camera angle. Hey, Captain Lee, what's up? Agent Kale, 669. I expect an explanation for your disappearance. I would love if you could give me one. I can't remember anything, Captain. I have no memories of the past week. Or I can't tell you anything at the moment, Captain. I'm conducting an investigation. Or I'm not Kyle. I'm occupying his body. I come from another dimension. Yeah, I want to keep my job. Surely you must have some idea of what happened. Not yet, but I have reason to believe that our disappearance is linked with the affair Dan and I were, were, were investigating. I'd like to know why the case was classified confidential. You've been taken off the case. Commandant Gander himself... I hate you. Commandant Gandalf. Dan was my partner. I should conduct the investigation. That's enough. I won't hide from you that you are the subject of considerable suspicion in this affair. Oh, man. There's no question of you continuing the investigation until the matter has been explained. Yeah, I guess I don't remember is a bit of a shitty excuse. Are you accusing me of murdering my partner? Your inability to provide a coherent explanation for your disappearance works against you. I see. What are your orders? I've decided to give you another case. Yay! Go and interrogate this prisoner, and let me have your report as soon as you've finished. You'll find all the information you need in the folder, along with your mission orders to get into the cell. Thank you. Dismissed. Dismissed. All right. Bye-bye. Very well, Captain. Can I rob all these things, then? I'm gonna rob you. Jenna's apartment key? What? I'm guessing that's something got to do with the case. I'm not just robbing her. Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, and then this bit. Detention dossier. Okay, let's go solve a crime. You're this, You know, solving crimes is basically in every single game that these guys have made. Like Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit or Indigo Prophecy, you basically were playing a cop for half of the game. Uh, it's very similar to this in a way. It's a, it's just like the story is split in two because you're you're playing the person who was involved in the crime and also the criminal and also the person investigating. Uh, okay, so surveillance room, I'm guessing. So this is the fourth floor. So perhaps over here is where they are. Airlock. Mm, maybe not. They seem to be doing a lot of surveying, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's, uh, an interrogation area. Oh, this is definitely a storage room. Oh, magic, magic rings, magic save rings. Magic save rings, give me the rings. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't want it. I thought that was... ...ones to pick up. So I guess I can also use those save rings to ask for advice, which is kind of a neat little... Option, little tooltip system in here. Oh, hello. So it's not the way I came in. It's a control panel for the terminals in the surveillance room. Okay. Okay, 
I'm gonna read those dossiers. Mission orders, Jenna 512. Examine. By order of Captain Le, investigating KL 669, KL, yeah, KL Shakes, has been authorized to access the detention cells to interrogate suspect Jenna 12. So, detention cell is what I'm looking for. And if I. I can't. I don't know how to go back on this menu, I doubt it. And if I read this. Suspect of belonging to a terrorist sect, The Awakened. They were, they're a big part of this whole game, I'm pretty sure. The accused name and sneak number were found in the multi plan terminal. Blah, blah, blah. She's been kept in detention and test cro intense cross examination has been recommended in order to determine whether or not she's an active mm. member of The Awakened. Mm. Alright, let's waterboard this chick. Detention centers. Okay, start from the top. Office. Main entrance. Tarek, Boog, Boom, Greg, restroom. Surveillance room, Captain Lee's office, detention cells. There you go. Ah, ah, then you got crushed by the doors. Hey, what's up? Jesus, that is intimidating. Uh, what about here? Why does none of the places have signs outside of them? Detention cells. Here? Yeah, it looks like it. What's this? Is this another newspaper? Virtual training center ad. So yeah, I can go to that virtual training center then if I want. Like That's the sort of thing that happens in this, is that you just pick up random bits and you can go there and it's very mini game based so it's kind of like i don't know like maybe final fantasy 7 when you go into that that area what's it called that place with all the, the like theme park thing nice one can i go in now can i see your orders sure hey there mm, very well everything is in order i'll lead you to the prisoner bring me freddie mercury from the future who's not dead I'll just walk, I'll walk shimming the whole way. Wait up! Ooh, the fog of war in this game is green. That's weird. The background turned green when I get too far away from it. Uh, it's green, there's green fog coming for us. Ah, no, it's okay. Hey, what's up? So are you a terrorist, or do I have to dunk your head in this bucket of water and... Can I confirm your age, name, and occupation? My name is Jenna712. I'm 24 cycles old. I'm a cargo pilot. I transport merchandise for the Tetra Trust. What type of merchandise? Terrorism? Where were you on the day the weather center was attacked? Do you know someone called Corel? Or what do you know about the secty way? Oh, let's, let's soften her up a bit. I was at work as usual. I was transporting spare slider parts to Lahore. My logbook proves it. Oh, your little book proves it, does it? What if I put your book in this bucket of water? What do you know about someone known called Corel? I met him once. I know almost nothing about him. Tell me what you know. If it's nothing, it'll be short. In a bar, it was a while ago. Oh, you hussy. I came in for a drink after work, and he started to chat me up. Mm. I must have given him my name just to be left in peace. Maybe he kept it on his multi-plan. Yeah, along with those saucy pictures you gave him. And you haven't seen him since? No, never. <laughs> He's really not the type of guy I hang out with. Why, what's wrong with him? Are you a racist? How did Karel get your sneak number? I don't know how he got it. Mm. But I didn't give it to him. <laughs> You'd be surprised what lengths a man can go to just to get a woman's number. Yeah, phone number. You, you didn't read the, the, the word subtitles out properly there. Very well. Thanks, the interrogation is over. That is the worst way to- This is not an interrogation if you say, Very well, thanks, this interrogation is now over. Do you know about Karel's illegal activities? No. I don't imagine it's the type of thing he tells complete strangers. Not unless he wants to get in their pants. Very well, thanks, the investigation is over. Are you going to condemn me? Condemn you? The evidence against you is considerable. I think you're guilty. No, I think you're innocent. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Yeah, I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, what's up? Uh, let me just lean in and get a bit of sugar. Uh, what do you think of that? 
Just take it out. You like what you see? You like what you no. Well, that was the world's worst interrogation. She told me nothing. Let's go to a bar or something. Figure out. Can I interrogate any of these people? No. They're all dead. Alright. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna go to her house. I believe I have her apartment key. I'm gonna go. Hello? Kale? Can we have lunch together today? Oh, man. Roman! Cousin! Can we have lunch together today? Uh, Yeah. Why not? I'm pretty bored at the moment. Meet me at the restaurant in Tahira Street. Hurry up. I'll be waiting. Yeah. She must be hungry after all that sex we had earlier. Uh, hello and welcome to the live stream. Sorry if you missed. We had a lot of sex earlier. Um, almost twice. Almost twice. It was pretty great. This is uh, Quantic Dreams. Uh, Magnum Opus. Omicron, the Nomad Soul. Those are the guys who made Heavy Rain. And Fahrenheit. A.K.A. Indigo Prophecy. All your favorite games that have weird polygonal sex fucking in them. Um, so let's ring up our... Syndicate car. When I say Syndicate car, I'm referring to the first Syndicate or Syndicate Wars. I'm not sure if the floaty cars were in the new Syndicate. I didn't play too much of that one. Pew, 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 pew. Floaty car. There was a bit in the original Syndicate where uh, if you shot, there was a what was it? I think if you if you shot a civilian who was uh, pushing a buggy, the buggy would run out into the middle of the street and uh, get crushed by one of the floaty cars. But uh, it never saw the light of day. I believe the BBFC, the British uh, Board of Film Classification, uh, denied it um, uh, a certificate ba because of the whole baby getting crushed thing. <laughs> Prudes. It was essential to the gameplay experience. All right, so what do they have in this place? They've got... Chaifer, Sikmior. Apparently cookies are spelled with a four in this world. I don't like this world. So this is part of the whole, like, weird tertiary stuff you can do. Optional uh, s objectives or activities, I guess, in Omicron. Hey, what's up? I'm glad you could make it. I ordered your favorite dish, sham steak. Eat it before it gets cold. Sham steak. That sounds awful. Great, I'm starving. So, did you find out anything about what happened to you? Now I'm sure it's related to the case I was working on, or not really. Most of most of all, I'm discovering Kyle and his friends and his enemies. That's weird to say, considering earlier you didn't say that you weren't him, so I'm gonna... What about Den? Did you... No, Den is dead. I, all I can say is Den is dead. I don't even know if he is dead. They thought I was dead. We were together when he was killed. I should be dead too, or I was his partner and I can't remember a thing. I'm the ideal fall guy. Yeah, go for that one. You mean they suspect you of killing Den? That's impossible. What's wrong with her arms? You couldn't have done that. You have to prove your innocence. You couldn't have done that. That's impossible. Pass the peas. I don't... Are you sure? I mean... You and Dan were best friends. The only way to find... Why is this weird pan shot? Yeah, I find... I need to find the real murderer. Looks like there are people who don't want you to know what happened on the night of your disappearance. Mm. You know, I really think you have to start over from scratch with the investigation you were working on with Dan before you disappeared. You know, considering you know absolutely nothing about Dan and earlier on you kind of admitted you knew absolutely nothing about anything, you're giving me some pretty solid advice here. You're right, I'll continue the investigation. Yeah, you may already know too much. Weird. I don't want to lose you again. I don't want to lose you again. You're, you wear bikinis into friggin' local cafes tell us I have something important to tell you I'm not oh I got a phone call agent kale agent kale 669 come in hey hey doing what's up what's going on Freddie Mercury from the future who's not dead there's a holdup going on in the supermarket in your sector Ugh. eight armed robbers have been reported eight hostages go immediately to 816 Zodia Street reinforcements are on the way over oh okay sorry today so I gotta go there's a hold up in progress just finish my sham steak Here, take this talisman you gave it to me before you disappeared you said it would protect me now you might need it thank you for this talisman see you later of course that probably means you're gonna die now I don't know Mm, I got Talisa's talisman. 
It's a religious object. Uh, okay, what's the talisman do? Investigate, examine. Ah, yeah, great. Looks like a piece of low polygonal junk. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go stop the. Who holds up a supermarket, really? Ma magical car. I need you to bring me to supermarket Zoda Street. Meow. It's really dangerous having cars that don't make any noise. Mm, I used to work in North London, and there was a fully electrical delivery van. They used to go up and down our street, and they used to have, it has, there's like a law where they have to have like little fake engine noises, like, out from like speakers, so people don't get run over, which is kind of dumb, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I kind of get it as well. Also, did you know the sound of whirring in ATM machines before they give you money is uh, completely made up? Uh, you'd never actually be able to hear the whirring inside the machine because it's behind concrete, so... Uh, before they had the whirring, it would make people would walk away before their money came, so that's why they make the whirring happen. There you go. Random fact encounter. Oh, oh, he, that's not how you use a gun, you dill hole. Oh, now he's locked the, the door by shooting it. What am I supposed to do? Oh, mouse control suddenly. Jesus Christ, it's a first person shooter. What the fuck did this happen? Survival instinct. Medical. I don't remember this bit at all. Right click to jump. I have, I've gone to cursor keys here as well, which is a bit weird. Got the wafer gone. That's as far as I can look down. This is weird. This reminds me of shooting in like original Deus Ex or something. Die! I'll shoot you with my wafers. Medipack triangle. Yeah. Bam, bam. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna rocket jump up. Jesus, this is so weird. I just, everything about this is just so French. Look at my... Look at my health on the side. It's like... It's digital DNA. It's like made of liquid. It's bubbling at the top for some arbitrary reason. Bam, 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 bam. That guy's shooting me through the washing detergent. Oh no! <laughs> oh man! Just to put in, co just to put this in context, this game came out in 1999. So like, Half Life came out in 1998. So. You know, make it out what you will. And if you don't know what I'm getting at, this is this is total garbage. <laughs> Do I need to j jump over the washing detergent? No. Do I walk through here? Jesus Christ. So, like, yeah, you know, it's straddled a couple of genres. There's the fighting game bit. There's the first-person shooter bit, which i totally forgotten about. There's the open-world stuff. Yeah. Remember the whole, like... There was a whole thing about, like, combining genres. Well, not combining them, just having the two of them in the same game. Like, do you remember... It was a Die Hard trilogy that had, like, the three films. One was a driving game, one was a third-person shooter, and the other one was a like on game. Like, there was a thing about that for a couple of years there. They re they, they just monster-closeted out of nowhere. Ugh. Oh, shit. I just shot that civilian really good. Medipack. Uh, so the, the the weird thing about this is dodging their bullets seem is incredibly difficult. They they seem to just hit you anyway. So it's more about taking cover, but then there's no cover. There's no leaning or Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't have to click them, I can just auto do it. Okay. The the, the last of them is hiding in the underground warehouse. Don't let him get away! He's the most dangerous one of all! Oh no! Better go after him. Back in third person. All right. No, no. I better pick up this medical cube thing. Mm. Do I need to take any medical stuff? Now I'm a little worried because I know all about the permadeath and stuff. Hmm. Oh, where are the medipacks? Open my... Are they in here? Yeah. Medipack medium. Examine. Doesn't tell me where my... Where's my health? Is it in the... Sorry, guys. One sec, one sec, one sec. Doesn't have it there. Oh, whatever. Whatever. I'm sure I'm fine. Where's he at? Am I going first person again? Oh, this is going to be a fighting game bit, isn't it? I can tell. Yeah, look at that open area. There's no way this is not going to be fighting. Jesus Christ. Alright, fighting games. Here we go. 
Hey, 1993, how you doing? Uh, 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 uh. Now you block my shots. I'll roundhouse kick you then. Bam! Jesus, he's kicking my ass. Oh, do that sweet jump though. Wah! Shit! Stop keep beating the crap out of me! Oh no. That's it. Ah, oh, ah, oh, dead again. Died three times. The regeneration beam is already doing its work. You'll be alright. Take a medikit as soon as possible and eat. Your strength will return quickly. That's one of the cool things about Omicron is that I don't know what it is for all of the the situations, but like, you know, another game would say continue, restart, have another go, load up your previous game, whereas in this I'm just gonna get in trouble for not actually catching that dude. Ah, mana potion. Why is there mana in this game? Uh, those of you who just joined us, hello and welcome to today's random encounter. Every Tuesday and Thursday here on twitch.tv forward slash GameSpot. This game's got some pretty good advertisements as well. So, to combat those diet failures that bring my productivity down, 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 I use Chocolate. Oh, Chocolate. An energy bar with tungsten hydrogen extracts. You too can eat like me. Eat Chocolate. All right. Loading area. The police reinforcements still haven't come, and there were more than eight robbers involved in the hold-up. It's strange that I was sent to this death trap unoccupied. If they wanted to kill me, they could have picked a better way. Really, considering you were knocked out by that dude, he should have just killed you. So, Oh, this is the camera. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, man, can you spare a static? Yeah, sure. Let us share all our material possessions and live happily as brothers and sisters in an atmosphere of love and harmony. Well, you would say that. You're homeless. I don't want any of your material possessions. Your material possessions include stained loincloth and crack needle. I've already got plenty of those. Alright, where do I go next? Let's go to her house. Jenna's apartment. So we can go and have a look and see... If she's a terrorist. If we walk in and there's a picture of Osama bin Laden, I think we're I think we're on to something. Take me, speedy car. Alright. In we go. Uh, and then I need to get her key. Janice's department key. Apartment key. Use... Alright. Wouldn't it be great if there was another person up there who wanted to have sex with me? That'd be great. Here we go. Oh, she left a Toblerone on the table. Mine. It is actually a chocolate bar. I'm gonna eat that chocolate bar. Use. Just ate it. It was delicious. Uh, okay. Her apartment's not as nice as mine. Omicron News. Might read that later. What's this thing again? Oh, it's all her stuff. Oh, she has no stuff, though. Oh, no, it just it connects up to my one, and I can use it as a bank. Okay. I get it. I get it, video game. Okay. Yeah, let's see if there's any dead bodies in here. Man, your apartment's crummy. Show me your clothes. Locked. Ugh. Who keeps a cupboard key? Oh, I'm gonna have to take a shower in a shower. I'm not putting my hands down there. What's this underneath? Small key, Jenna. God. In Fahrenheit, there was another part where you had to find something underneath a toilet. There probably was in heavy rain as well. Use small key, Jenna. Hey, I got another sweet triangle pyramid. 20 sedics. Jenna's note. Medipack. Uh, is that it? We done? Yep. Yeah, right. Now, does Jenna's note say, I'm a terrorist? Because if it is, we got this in the bag. It says, from light, light comes. Yep, yeah, terrorist. That sounds pretty terroristy to me. I'm terrified even reading that. Is that it? Is there nothing else here? 
Is that a thing I can open? I don't understand either. I don't understand what... Oh, hello. There's something behind that. I saw... Yeah, there's something behind that. Can I push you? There's no reason to do that. There is. Look, it's like unless I'm unless I'm wrong, there's like a there's like a safe or something hidden behind there. There must be a button somewhere. And I'm going to assume that it's in this room. Maybe if I sit down. You are the worst detective in the world. Arr! All right, let's have another look around. Is that a button there? No. Maybe the switch is I have to take a shit in her toilet. Let's have a look. Let's have a look in here. From light comes light. Maybe if I turn off the lights? Maybe if I shine a light on it? I don't know. Open sesame again. Is there anything else in here? Really? Nothing else I can... He keeps doing that. I don't like it. Is he hitting a switch? If he did, then I've hit it three times now, so... No. What's that? Maybe there? It's okay, give me a second. I'm gonna see if there's a push button. I don't even know what the controls are on this. No, it's definitely a switch or something. What do you guys think? You try the button to the left of the bookcase. That thing? That's not a button. That's like a... It's like a bank thing. Let's see one there. Light ramp to the right of the... Yeah, it's not that thing. This is like a... Oh, wait. Light... R oh, okay. Is there a light thing over here? Oh, this thing. I don't think I can turn that off. Oh, there seems to be a switch behind one of the bulbs. You fucking genius. Thank you very much. What's down here? Oh my god, it's a DECA gun. And something else. Propaganda document. Oh, you are such a terrorist. I want to give props out to whoever told me that. Finpalm, you the man. Thank you very much. Propaganda document. People of Abacron, wake up! Reshev's government is corrupt. He has made deals with the trusts in order to make himself richer and richer. He deprives us of our liberty, supposedly in your, of his own of our own happiness. But what good is happiness if we are not free to think and act? Humanity has been placed in the. They really love hitting hard space bars here, or enter enter keys. Uh, humanity has been placed in the care of one X, a computer. A power must be returned. Uh, must be freely chosen humans. Sorry, I can't read properly. Beware of those who lull you to sleep in order to control you better. Men are not puppets to be manipulated. You are a terrorist. You're gonna be... What was the thing? What happened to the other guy? He got, like, reset or some something. That's gotta suck. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the thing. Back to the police department. Actually, you know what I really wanna do? Is I wanna wander around, I wanna find David Bowie before this. Before we lose the chance to do so. Let's go for a little bit of wander. So in Omicron as well, the city and the game, you can go wandering, go into random shops, purchase items. Cars won't knock you down, cause it's the future. Gun shop, I wonder what they sell. Hey, what's up? Hello. May I get you something? Hey. This guy's got a weird face. I'd like to buy something. Okay. Okay. I already have a deck of gun. Man, these cost so much. I've only got 470 sedics. That's five grand. Mega Zooka's three grand. Octo gun. Ugh. Uh. Nah, I'm alright. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too, buddy. Uh, there's also a shooting gallery. You can have a go in. This body seems strong. Oh, I forgot about this. 
I am pretty sure you're able to transport into different bodies in this game. You don't have to stay in Kyle. Or Kale. But I forget how to do it. It's been a while. So I can go into the VR. Let's go into the VR center. No, I've already done enough shooting. We'll do that some other time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can like transport into different bodies and walk around in them. But I forget. Oh, I know. Sorry. I think I got this. No, I thought it was the talisman. This is me going off of having played this game over a decade ago, so. Yes, you can. It was one of the selling points that the game that was when it was being advertised. Hmm. It's kind of weird you can sw swap bodies. It makes sense within the lore of the game, I guess, because uh, because you are you are yourself the game player inside of this guy's body, but I don't know. Hi, I'd like to know more about Reshev. Reshev is our knight and leader. He knows what's good for us. Nah, 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 nah. Thanks, but whatever. That was a great conversation. I hate this city. It's awful. All right. There's a pub around here somewhere, and it's got David Bowie in it. And I don't know the address yet, but I do know that Omicron isn't that big. So I'll probably be able to find it. Uh, this area of Omicron that we're in now is like the first of many that you experience. You get to go around <coughs> uh, over the course of the game. Uh, they all look pretty visually distinct and whatnot. It's obviously pretty Blade Runnery. Um, Quantum Cola? Quanta Cola. It's pretty good though. It's pretty, uh, it's a relatively believable place for, you know, when it came out, 1999. Like I said, Half-Life 1 came out a year earlier. Think about that. In terms of the first person stuff, actually, Unreal Tournament and Quake 3 came out the same year as this, so... Maybe that says more about how good they are than how bad they is, I don't know. Dun, 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 cyberpunk music. You know what, actually? There may be information in one of these newspapers about, um... About the bands. No, not in that one. There's the restaurant I was earlier. Clunes. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's maybe this is a pub. Let's go in and find out. No, it won't let me in. No cops in here. There's a hospital. Pretty sure this is the police department to my left. Uh, if I can't find it, I'll just go in there and uh, talk to that lady. Get her all reset and then go on our merry way. What's this over here? This is the 301. Alright, this is looking promising. Yeah. Alright. This may be a strip club. This is most certainly a strip club. Sick drum and bass playing. Up. Hey, dude. What do you want? This will say dude in the future. I'd like to drink something. Hmm. Will I have a koopy sandwich? Hmm, I love koopy sandwiches. Or a cup of coil. I'll have a cup of coil, please. No, a can of Coop's beer. Adios, amigo. Oh, you are the worst. God, even he wears bras when he goes out. Alright. Maybe it's on a different day that David Bowie's around here. What's in here? Is that the way I came in? No. This is the uh, little area. Go for piss. I don't understand. I don't understand how to take a piss. I don't understand how to take a piss. Do you know how to use this one? Was? No. I wouldn't mind, but he used one earlier. There seems to be some, like, context-sensitive response to what's going on here, but oh well. Oh well. Can I rob all their food? Is that a thing? No. Nope. Can I talk to these people? I can't talk to anyone unless they're sitting down, so maybe this guy. I don't believe they want to talk to me. All right. Also, all of these tables have got invisible people from The Sims sitting at them. All right, let's get out of here. This is the worst strip club ever. I'm never coming back. Doors are way too big as well. 
Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that was the police department, so... Just to make sure... Let's be lazy. Call a cab. Boom. It's very peaceful. Good sound design. In fact, okay, I wasn't at the right place. In fact, through those doors over there and in the distance where the green light is, I'm pretty sure that's the entrance into the the next area. I think the next area is quite like this area, it's just a different part of the city, but uh, there are different, definitely are way more crazy areas around here. Um, I just, I played this around the same time, I think it came out around the same time as Outcast did, and I penned in Outcast to play on Tuesday, next Tuesday. Now, I won't be here uh, to do it, but uh, maybe one of the guys will do it. Uh, but just by complete coincidence, um, Outcast has been Somebody's bought the IP back for it or something, so they're maybe gonna make a new game. Ugh. Sorry, Ed. Which is weird. Outcast is a really weird game. This is pretty weird. Outcast is weirder. It's not a million miles from that either, in terms of how it plays, how the combat works, how it. Eh, a little bit about how it looks. This is the detention center here, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Freddy Mercury from the future is not dead. I've already targeted them. I should make my report. Oh. Boring. Does my report go to... What's her face downstairs, I'm guessing? Captain Le. Wait, were they selling popcorn at the strip club? I didn't see that. If they were, though, I think I should go back. Hey, what's up, Captain Leah? Well, Agent Dale. Do you think Jenna 712 is guilty? I think she's guilty. She should be condemned. I think she had nothing to do with the attack. She should be released. Ah, whatever. Guilty. Right. We agree with you. You can go about your business. Oh, do me a favor. Get me a cup of coil. Dying of thirst. I just condemned that lady to death. I'm probably going to hear about that later. Oops. Uh, okay, I need to get her a cup of coil. I don't really want to give her a cup of coil. Did I buy a cup of coil? I'll give her the beer. I'll give her the beer instead. Here, have some beer. You look like you need some beer. No. Where do I get the cup of coil? Oh, this is tedious. I have to just get this lady some drinks. I hope there's a canteen here. Surveillance room, you guys got a cup of coil? No, uh, Why am I getting her a cup of coil? That's not, that's not good employee relations. Offices, maintenance room, ventilator room, restroom. Oh, I don't know, I have a feeling I'm probably, maybe there is something in her room that I can give her. I'm back. I'm, I'm trying to get your cup of coil. You stupid bitch. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. Definitely don't have a cup of coil. Waiver gone. Sleeping pill pres prescription. Ah, oh, this is the worst. All I want to do before we finish this live stream is see David Bowie. Like, that is literally the only thing I want to do. Detention cells. Can I go see her now? Maybe I'll go see her now. Maybe she'll give me a cup of coil. I don't even care about the cup of coil. I just want to... I don't, I'm not sure if I feel like she's guilty. I definitely feel like she was lying to me. She had all that propaganda. As someone who has been kettled in the past, I'm a little bit ashamed of what I've done in terms of civil liberties. But also, video games made by French people. Actually, you know what? I think Outcast was a French game as well. I don't know what to do with this elevator lift. Uh, surveillance room, vent room, maintenance workshop. 
I'm literally going to have to go. Okay, I'm going to go to Commander Gandar's office just for shits and giggles. Hey, what's up? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, but I want to go to Commander Gandalf's office. Screw you guys. Alright. Wash, this elevator is broken. Alright. Main entrance. Alright. Better go get coffee for my stupid boss. This game is the worst. Alright, where do I get coffee from? Let's go back to that supermarket. And you guys got some coffee. Or whatever it's called. What was it called again? Oh, wow. I just walked through here. Oh, I'm going to go into the next town then. I should probably be taking a car, but... Can I drive cars around myself? You know what? I think I can. I think I can. Let's try that out. Actually, I think in here is where David Bowie is. Calling the slider. I just get in one, and drive around myself, like a boss. Uh, manual. Yeah, I can. Woo! Video game. <laughs> God, look at that draw distance, guys. Look at that draw distance. I'm pretty sure I've set it to the highest amount as well. So you're getting the best this game can has to offer. I do a sick ramp. Yeah. All right. Turn. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was somewhere in here that his uh, that David Bowie is playing. So I'm just gonna get out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to this game. Running in the future, that girl's going. A nice orange dress. And so is that girl up there. It's a good thing all these future people have such strict fashions. Otherwise, it would have been really hard to make this game with all different characters. Look. Hey, what's up, orange lady? Hey, what's up, orange lady? Sorry. What's in here? Is this another strip club? I think it might be. There's no strippers in this strip club. Alright, where's the next one? Alright, what's this, uh... Is this a dildo store? Have I walked into a sex shop? Uh... Hey, bro? Are you here to buy dildos? He does look like that guy be by a dildo. Um, let's see what's going on. Hey, dude, what do you want? I want a dildo? I'm looking for something for a friend. What do you have that's not too weird? Mm. Erotic poster, purchased, mm. purchased. Mm. Oh, I can only post it. I can only buy Adios, one of them. Amigo. All right, check out this erotic poster, guys. Oh man, that's so erotic. 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 All right, you guys are gonna have to give me a minute. We have to leave the live stream for a second. All right, what's in the next? Is this a bar? Whoa, what's going on here? What the fuck is? What's the perspective here? What? Whoa, I'm gonna get sick. Whoa. I think this is David Bowie's place. No, it's a strip club. It's like a laser strip club. This game is no no shortage of strip clubs. It is forbidden to speak to the dancing girls. I need to go to the bathroom for a second. There's too many dancing girls here. Man, this place sucks. Where's the barman? Over there. Is that the same guy from the other bar? What'll it be? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a friggin' juggalo. Yes, give me... 
Oh, here we go. A cup of coil. For the stupid... Sneak full? Oh, man. I'm going to have to get rid of my erotic poster. No, what can I... Well, I'll drink my beer. Use. Yeah, it's getting pissed. All right, now, give me... I'll tell you what I've had enough. Cup of coil. No, I don't want to examine it. I want to purchase it. Yay, object bought. My boss will be really happy when I tell her I bought that cup of coil in a strip club. Next town over. Right. Whoa, camera's freaking me out. Just gonna have another quick little check to see if there's a... Uh, see if there's any more strip clubs around here. I want to see David Bowie. For some reason, I think it's over this way. The minute I drove in here, I was like, I think it's here somewhere. Oh wow, it's a strip club. No girls. It's the exact same one we were in earlier, except in a different town. Living, breathing world. Alright, 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 I get it. Ah! Oh man, I'm nearly dead. Jesus Christ. Need to use that erotic poster a bit more. Use erotic poster. Doesn't work. Damn it. Uh, okay, medic at large. Use that. Uh, and also. Security HQ. And we go. Oh, audio broke. The dreamers, the group Bowie sings for, only perform in secret places. I remember seeing them relatively early in the game, though, so I feel like maybe if I keep going with the story, I'll eventually... You know what, actually? I think... I think maybe the, the girl in the police station who I've s condemned to death is the lady who, would, who brought me to the, the concert. So I may have completely fucked this up, but if I have, we'll look it up. I'll have a look at it on YouTube. Or you're free to do it yourself. Because it's a free country, unlike Omicron. Happy 4th of July, by the way, America. Congratulations on not being in a... Uh, ruled by the British. Something I can get behind. Alright. How do I give her a fucking cup of coil, use on... No. Look, I don't know how to give you this f Is a couple called prison lingo? There's no reason to do that. Alright, right, I'm gonna use cup of coil, and if he drinks it, then screw this game. Use cup of coil. Oh, thank Hi. God. Dismissed. That's it. That's it. That's it. I had to go to a strip club on the other side of town for that. Yeah, it tastes like stripper, doesn't it? Tastes like... Tastes like the broken dreams of... Other people. I have nothing else to tell her. Oh well. Maybe now I can go into that girl and tell her I've con condemned her to death. And uh, detention rooms. I wish it was poisoned, you know what? Wish I could have used poison on a cup of. Oh, keep getting that wrong. Keep getting that wrong. It's this way. Hey, what's up? Future Freddie Mercury. Who's not dead? Oh, alright, 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 alright. Where to then? What am I supposed to do? I'll go to my office. Maybe I can get a hint from that thing. Oh no, Den's office. That's where I need to go. He's here as well. Hey, what's up? No, nope, he's a jerk. Den's police badge should open the door to his office. Right, so I can't get in then. Was this my one? I feel like this was my one. Is that it? Nope. 
Hey, this is mine. Oh, here, what's this? Flyer, the Shalarman's tournament. Okay, I'll go for that. What's the Shalarman tournament? Come and test yourself against the finest fighters in Omicron in the famous Shalarman's tournament. The toughest test in Omicron. All gamblers come with their setics to the biggest underground combat tournament in the city. You have nothing to lose but your life. But you can win thousands of setics. So what are you waiting for? I don't know. What am I waiting for? To get to the arena, go to the Zam store in there and ask for the drone battery. All right. It's a bit weird. All right, so I could do that. Optional task 17, but I'm not going to. I'm going to get stuck in my chair. I'm going to try and see David Bowie. The terminal has been deactivated. Wait, is this my office? Maybe this... For some reason, I don't think that was my office. Cannot remember. Is this my office? Oh no, it's you, it's a douchebag. You again? What? Uh I have questions to ask. Do you know access? Do you know how to access a confidential folder? Yeah, he's gonna tell you. Fed up answering your petty little questions. Now get out of my office. I've got work to do. I got I gotta I gotta put mascara on my other eye. Alright, we tell you what guys, I think that's it. I think unless when I walk out I get some some crazy thing happens. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Main entrance. Live for an I'll go back to my hotel. That's all I'll do. I'll go back to my apartment. See what happens there. Save the game. Yeah, it's a pretty good. Omicron's, you know, it's a pretty good game. It's a little bit older, 14 years old. It's got its, uh, it's got rough edges in terms of the open world experience. It's uh, like sex to close. I've done that. Um, yeah, in terms of the open world experience, it's it's obviously a lot more limited than we're now used to. So, like, perhaps if you didn't grow up playing games in this era, it might you might appreciate. Uh, maybe, well, not appreciate maybe not the right word, but you might you might enjoy playing this, like thinking back to what it was like. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. Like I can attest to how good it gets. I've, in the past when I was playing this, I've only ever gone like maybe four or five hours. Um, I remember being re relatively difficult actually. Boom. Gamespot gave it a six point oh apparently. <laughs> I guess it's, maybe it's not so good. What's this? Ring note. Oh no, it's the ring note. If I read this, in seven days a phone will ring. The ring on the art appears to the Pilgrim Strath, the pure spirit to see them. They have two powers. The first is freezing time. The second is to guide the seeker for... Any survived it. What? What? I'm terrified. What's going on? Where is the ring then? What are you talking about? What rings? My lady's not here either. Where was the save area? I love how the save area was in the kitchen, wasn't it? Because that's where I go to save my games. Save, rings, save. Also, advice. I wonder why the dossier of the serial killings are classified confidential. I suspect the investigation is linked to disappearance. I must absolutely find out a way to access that dossier. Oh well. I guess we won't figure it out today, though, unfortunately. Uh, that was uh, Omicron, the Nomad Soul, uh, from 1999. Uh, I'm actually going to show you where to get it, just in case you want. It's available on goodoldgames.com. I think it's a tenner. Let me check. Good old games. Available on goodoldgames.com for the low, low price. Uh, relatively low price of $9.99 centimes. Uh, there's David Bowie's head. He is the rider. There's a lady. There's somebody. I don't really know what's going on there. Oh, you guys can't see it. Sorry. There's the sick first person action we saw earlier. There's a stripper. It's punching. There's a dude on a throne, there's a map. It's weird. It's 
David Bowie. All right, David Bowie. David Bowie and Omicron. Let's do it. No, I don't want the music. I want to see the performance. In Travel yeah, in I want to see it in 240p. Absolutely. It's weird. You go into this, this kind of pub, and then it's just David Bowie singing. I should have kept you. Yeah, this is exactly it. I should have tried. It like goes into like locked off camera. It's actually a pretty good song as well. Give me wings. Future guitar. Give me Give me money for a change of place. Yeah. Those noisy rooms. All right. David Boy will take us out. Thank you very much for watching Random Encounters today. Every Tuesday and Thursday right here on twitch.tv forward slash GameSpot. I am out. I'm going home for a little bit of time. I'll be back in the week after next. So I'll be back Tuesday week with some more great games. If you have any suggestions, as ever, let me know. At Daniel Dwyer on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, for now, Mr. Bowie, play us out. Oh, God.